All right, what's up guys? So today we're gonna be doing a video where I show you how to customize your own grip tape. Right here we have this piece of beautiful undialed grip tape. If you guys want this grip tape, we sell it at several different stores. You can go to the scooter farm, you can go to the Bolt, you can go to pretty much any scooter shop to get this. And if your scooter shop doesn't carry this, well, you can have them contact us and pick up their own order of undialed grip tape. So go do that. Let's show you how to customize this. So suppose you have any grip tape. It could be undialed grip tape, tilt grip tape. And I'm gonna turn this boring, lame grip tape into something spectacular. So the first thing that I'm gonna do before I start painting this is I want to tell you the materials that you will need. You will need a paint marker and buy these at any arts and crafts stores. The next thing you're gonna need is the willingness to try. Third and final thing you'll need is, well, I'm gonna use some spray paint. So I got spray paint right here. The first thing that I'm gonna do to this grip tape particularly is I'm going to do some splatter paint to it so it looks really cool on the base. As you can hear, the spray paint is almost out of paint. All you really do to, to splatter paint, if you've watched Undialed videos in the past, we've shown you, for all you new viewers out there, this is how you do it. It's really easy. You just take the cap off, shake it up, and then spray into the cap. Kind of point it away from you so you don't splash it on yourself. But spray paint it into the cap, and then basically just like throw the paint down with the cap. See what I mean by it spraying off? If you spray it off over your thing that you're doing it on, then you can get some extra splatters for free. All right, so the next color that I'm gonna be using is this beautiful red color, the color that actually came with this cap. So because I'm splatter painting this as well, it doesn't really matter if the paint's mixed because they're just gonna be thrown on the deck, I mean on the grip tape. So next one. Ah. But we got our grip tape for now. We're gonna do, be doing a lot more cool and crazy stuff to this. So after you paint your grip tape, obviously you wanna let it dry for a little bit. I had mine out in the sun, but here is all of the grip tapes that I've done so far up until filming this video. These are just a few examples of the ones that I did. And when I was coloring them, coloring these ones is when I decided, hey, I should probably make a video showing you guys how to do this. So. Yeah, these are just a few of them, and I'm going to show all of them at the end, so stay tuned. So the next thing we have to do is we have to apply the paint markers. So we're going to do that right now. The paint markers that I like to use are these Sharpie oil-based paint markers. They are super good. I never really have a problem with it. They have a felt tip, so you can like run along a whole bunch of grip tape, and it really doesn't get that worn down. So these Sharpie ones are the ones to use. I picked them up personally at Michael's, um, which is a arts and crafts store around here, but a lot of arts and crafts stores have them as well. I know Home Depot sometimes has them, not in many colors, but they still have them, and a lot of construction stores have them as well, so if you're looking for the markers, those are some places to find it. Also, I hate saying it, but you can also find them on Amazon, so worst case scenario, buy them on Amazon. So right now, I'm going to use my paint markers, and I'm going to paint this grip tape. Um, basically, the colors that I have right now are yellow and red, so what better median color than orange to be with yellow and red? Um, basically what I'm going to do right now is just outline the undialed and it's going to look sick, so let's do it. Okay, well now I have this grip tape painted with the orange. Now I'm gonna do a layer of pink. I think that's gonna look pretty sick. So, got my pink marker right here. Time to apply. So I got the pink done, but I want to do a little bit more with it. So I'm just going to start drawing a little bit. Maybe make the pink outline a little bit bolder. I think that would look sick. So more pink. Here's 
the grip tape so far. What I'm gonna do now is I need a color that contrasts it like a little bit. So I'm gonna be using a green right now and that is the color that I'm gonna do. So I'm gonna do a thin little outline around the pink and we're gonna go outside and we're gonna put on another layer of spray paint. So let's go do this. All right, there's the green outline on it. All right guys, so I had just finished up drawing the outline of it with the pink and the green like you just saw me do. And now it's time to put the second splatter paint, but this time we're using blue. So it's like the exact opposite of red. So here's the grip tape right now. Time to add some more paint marker. Hi, how are you? I'm good. Uh, you answered. I know. You called and you answered. My goodness. I know. I'm, I'm here. What is up, ladies and gentlemen? We are back, and we're about to do another step of the painting. Oh, I got it first try. Right now, I had just just done this like blue splatter on it. Obviously, I let it dry for a little bit, but. Right now, I'm gonna go back over it with another orange outline, and we're gonna we're gonna see how it looks. So that's what I'm gonna do right now. The next thing that I'm gonna do is I'm going to do an outline of the original like white letters. So I'm gonna do that in green. Alright guys, so I just got this layer of paint marker applied to it, but when I look at it, I don't think it's done. I think that it could use a little more something something, so... Boom, it is officially finished. All right guys, so all of the grip tape is officially finished and I, I wanna show you guys what it looks like now because it turned out so cool and yeah, I'm, I'm gonna show you right now. So I got all seven of them stacked up right here. Obviously this is the one I did for the video, so that one's up top, but just look at it. Look how much of a, like, a difference it looks versus new and old. Like. You guys, like really the sky is the limit on when, when you're painting. You can you can really just do whatever you want. You can make this completely your own type of thing and no one's gonna tell you what to do. So just, just, just try it. So this one right here is the one I did for the video. It turned out super sick. I am blown away by how this turned out. This one is gonna be called Party and I put the date on it right there and signed it and all of the grip tapes will have the date, my signature and then like a title to it. So this one is called well, that one's called Party. The next one I got right here is a crazy looking one. It's like a super red, super blue. There's like gold behind it. I named this one Acid Burn. The reason I called it Acid Burn is that it looks like the blue parts of the grip tape look like it's acid kind of like burning away at the grip tape itself. So that's why I chose to name it that. This one right here is called Trip. And the reason I have it called Trip is it, it looks super psychedelic and it looks super trippy and I, I just thought what better name than trip but yeah there it is right there i'm so stoked on this one so this one right here was actually a super fun one to do it I, i'm calling this one sun because the whole reason behind it is you can see like the red or the pink layers going up it but as you go higher it looks like a giant sunbeam is going into it and i thought that was a really cool touch i did yellow spray paint before drawing the lines and after drawing the lines and it turned out super cool so this one is called sun sun this one right here is actually the newest out of all of them. This is the one I finished last after I finished the one for the video. This one is called Crossing, but with an X. 
like Xing, but it's just crossing. And there's my signature, the date, but yeah, this one turned out super cool. It's gonna look very cool on a setup, and it's just gonna look super trippy, so. This one I have right here is called Wave, and it has like the Japanese inspired rising sun at the top, and that goes into a wave. The wave's going down, and then like, it looks like blood or something like that at the bottom, but I think this one looks super nice. This is probably one of my favorite ones out of all of them. And this one is called The Wave. The last and final one is called Three. And the reason it's called Three is because all the lines are in groups of three. Um, this isn't the third one that I did. It's just that all the, like, as you can see right there, it's like one, two, three. And then look at the, even the colored areas, it's also just groups of three lines. So what better name than Three? It starts at the bottom blue, works its way up to green, then goes to red, then to pink, then goes to the black. And you can see the pink kind of coming through where the lit logo is and then the black and the white designs up at the top. I think this one turned out super cool. I'm, I would ride this one, honestly. And like I said, it's just called three. So these are the grip tapes all right here. These are all of the finished ones. It actually looks super cool with all of them next to each other. But yeah, there's three, the wave, crossing, acid burn, trip, party, and sun. And they're all super cool right here. I'm beyond stoked on how they all turned out. I'm so blown away. This is super cool. I don't know. I get super hyped when I finish a project like this. Tell me what you guys think below. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure to give it a thumbs up if you did actually enjoy watching it. If you guys want to purchase this grip tape, make sure to go over to eBay. Um, I'm going to have the description. I'm going to have the link to the de in the description. Anyway, hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure to like, share, subscribe, do whatever you feel is necessary. I'm super stoked on how all of these turned out. I, hopefully you guys enjoy my, my artwork. And if you guys want more videos of me showing you how to do super artsy stuff like the script tape you are watching on the screen right now, then don't hesitate to drop a comment below saying, I like this, or a comment saying, I hate this. Do either one. I'm honestly just curious about your guys' opinion. So yeah, catch you guys later. Peace out.